What is Dopa Macuna? Dopa Macuna is an herbal supplement made from Macuna prurians, also known as velvet bean. Velvet bean is a tropical legume that grows from trees native to Africa and tropical Asia. The plant and its extracts have long been used in Ayurvedic medicine and tribal communities. Dopa Macuna is sold legally in the United States as an herbal dietary supplement. Now, before I continue any further, let me state this clearly. I am not a medical doctor, nor medical practitioner of any kind. This review is based on personal experience and should not be construed as competent medical advice. If you have medical insurance, please, by all means, visit your doctor, ask them whether or not this supplement will have any possible interactions with any medications you may be taking, or exacerbate any pre-existing medical conditions that you may have. Now, because it's sold as a dietary supplement, it can be purchased on the internet and health food stores. Dopa Macuna is not regulated by the FDA to treat any condition. In fact, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration actually lists Macuna prurians as a poisonous plant. Velvet bean is known in the West for its high neurotransmitter content, such as trace amounts of serotonin, nicotine, but notably high amounts of L-Dopa. L-Dopa is a direct precursor to dopamine, and its supplementation can increase dopamine levels within the body. Dopamine, for those who are unaware, is a neurotransmitter that helps control the brain's reward and pleasure centers. Inside the brain, dopamine plays important roles in executive functions, motivation, and reinforcement, as well as lower level functions including arousal and sexual gratification. The absence of adequate levels of dopamine can manifest in many ways. For example, Parkinson's disease patients are known to have dopamine deficiencies. L-DOPA, which is also known as levodopa, is actually a main component in most Parkinson's treatments, and it's generally thought that people with low dopamine levels also are more prone to things like depression and addictive behaviors. Because Macuna contains high levels of L-DOPA, can you become addicted? From the research that I've seen, there's nothing that would indicate that supplementing with Dopa Macuna would harm your neurotransmitters or that you could become addicted to it. The research says that because L-Dopa is a dopamine precursor, if you don't need the extra dopamine in your body, your body just excretes it out, usually through urine. This is just something that our bodies can use to produce more dopamine if there is a deficit present. Can you overdose on it? Uh, <clears throat> probably you can. Uh, the standardized dosage uh, of most supplements you'll find in Amazon for this particular product is usually between 800 milligrams to 1 gram of velvet bean extract, which contains anywhere between 100 to 150 milligrams of active L-DOPA. The majority of research on Dopa Macuna is catered towards uh, snake venom negation, oddly enough. It helps against uh, snake venom, this, the, an extract of this plant, and also as its usage as a Parkinson's treatment. So online sources like WebMD, they don't list any cutoff dosages, only that you should consult your pharmacist or physician on the appropriate dose. I personally wouldn't recommend taking more than what the bottle says uh, the suggested dosage should be. I like to play it safe. And always remember, although it's an herbal supplement, there's still a huge potential for overdose and side effects. You can overdose on water if you drink too much, so I don't recommend that either. Too much of a good thing, even if it's a good thing, can harm you. So you can overdose on pretty much anything if you take high enough doses. As they say, the difference between a medicine and a poison is the dosage. Uh, so the takeaway here is don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. Use these things reasonably and intelligently in the proper way according to the manufacturer's directions and you should be okay. My personal experience. So you'll note on this bottle that it says to take two pills in the morning. I started with just one pill because I always start with half doses. Uh, as I always say in these supplement videos when I get around to making them, individual physiology. It's different for everyone. I never know personally how these things will affect me. I don't want to take a chance, so it's advisable and wise to proceed with caution. One person can sit and eat an entire jar of peanut butter, and they're fine, and enjoy it, and it's delicious. And then there are people out there who just picking up a peanut with their hand, 
just one piece of a peanut, just getting a little dust on their skin will cause a severe allergic reaction, so you got to be careful. So, <clears throat> on day one, I took a half dose with a meal, as the bottle suggested. No noticeable effects. No big deal, as these things can often take time to build up in your system before effects become noticeable. But uh, day two, something interesting happened. I took the suggested two-pill dose with my first meal of the day. And what's funny is that the package uh, seems to insinuate that it causes, possibly causes hypervigilance or insomnia uh, if taken later in the day, that is. But uh, I discovered the exact opposite. In fact, I found myself getting so drowsy that I was falling asleep at, at my computer. So just sitting here in the chair in midday, you know, lunchtime, and I was passing out already. But I wasn't entirely sure at the time if the L-Dopa was the culprit. I didn't discount that my drowsiness could have been uh, from anything. It could have been... I mean, there are a number of things that can cause that on any given day. Excessive drowsiness, you know. Maybe I didn't sleep well that night, even though, you know, you, you can wake up and you feel all right. Who knows? So I didn't immediately attribute it to that. But on the third day, I took two pills again. And again, I found myself becoming extremely drowsy. So... And, you know, when I say extremely drowsy, I mean, like, don't operate heavy machinery or drive an automobile-level drowsy. So that's something to really look out for if you're going to start taking this. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if it was the L-Dopa still, but I didn't take any the next day, and then I didn't feel uh, drowsy. And so, just to reiterate once more, be cautious when ingesting any new supplements, just because it's an herbal product doesn't mean it's harmless. Then I cut the dose back to one pill again, which I took in the morning with a meal, but I felt a little bit kind of like uh, foggy again. It was kind of noticeable. Each time I would do it, it was kind of noticeable, and uh, you know, it was really not a good place to be in the middle of the day to be to feel like you want to pass out. So uh, what I started to do after that was take one pill in the evening before bed, and I would fall right to sleep, and I would sleep wonderfully. And so for me, although the bottle said take two in the morning, I realized that it was better for me or ideal <clears throat> for me to take one pill before bed rather than uh, two pills in the morning. So uh, that's what I began doing. And that is what I discovered I got my best results from. So after taking it for a week, it dawned on me that uh, it was almost like a melatonin effects wise, if you've ever taken uh, melatonin, but uh, without the groggy after effects that I typically get from taking melatonin when I do take it and I use it sparingly. But uh, oftentimes melatonin, uh, you take it and yeah, it'll put you to sleep, but it can often, with some people, it can have the side effect of uh, you can feel kind of a grogginess that's lasting through the next day. Uh, now I've staggered my intake of uh, L-Dopa to uh, every other day, and I'm at the. This is the last pill in this bottle, so it's it's all gone now. Uh, I do intend on getting more. That's for sure. Uh, I feel like I don't actually need to take this every day or take high doses to get uh, benefits from dopa because, as I said earlier, you know, and that's a good thing. I get to save money because of uh, reverse tolerance I seem to have for this supplement. And as I said earlier, uh this just supplements. Uh, any deficits you may have, uh, deficits you may have. So, I guess I eat enough sort of uh, amino acid precursors, which L-tyrosine is a good uh, precursor to L-dopa, and that's in so many things. I mean, it's what I believe it's the most abundant amino acid. So, your body, if is it, if it's efficient at synthesizing its own L-dopa from L-tyrosine, you know, you're gonna have plenty of L. That's why some people they may take this and may not feel anything, and I'm sure uh, I may see some comments sooner or later where people will say, oh, I tried this and it sucked. I didn't feel anything because I always get that on my supplement uh, reviews. So I suspect that it won't be uh, the same results for everyone, unfortunately. But uh, it's something to be mindful of when trying this out for yourselves. Uh, as for overall effects, I noticed that I would sleep deeply uh, when I took it before bed and wake up fairly refreshed, uh, compared to something like melatonin, as I said. But uh, what was noticeable is uh, when I would drink a cup of coffee. So I really felt the caffeine rush much more strongly than I ordinarily do when I would take this at night, wake up in the morning, have my morning coffee, and it was like it, it would hit me as though 
Because I'm sure there's a lot many coffee drinkers out there. You drink coffee. Of course, if you're new to... You have a cup of coffee once in a while. You really feel it. And then uh, if you're someone who's a regular drinker, it just kind of becomes more of a habitual morning beverage. And you don't really feel much from it. But, uh, you know, when I took the dopa and I would wake up and drink my coffee, I was like, holy smokes. I mean, it really, like, wide awake. And not, not a jittery awake. Like, I have, there's got to be some kind of um, synergistic effect happening there. Because it, it really feels like a good coupling. The synergy between these two, uh, between caffeine and, and dopa. I need to, of course, I'll need to uh, experiment a little m bit more before I can really determine how safe <laughs> that is <clears throat> to couple these things together. But I, you know, I've been at it for a little while, and I haven't noticed any negative effects, really. And, uh, yeah, so I always try to control for all possible factors. But uh, after a few days with similar experiences, I chalked it up to being perhaps uh, the result of having more free-floating dopamine stores in my brain. Because, uh, after all, caffeine enhances uh, dopamine signaling in the brain. That's what it does. And, uh, well, partially. I mean, that's not its main method of action, but that's a side effect of the fact that it's it has an effect on uh, adenosine receptors. So, uh, it sort of stands to reason that uh, having more raw material for my body to synthesize dopamine would, as the label, you know, and, and all the literature asserts that dopamacuna does, that that would increase the amount of free-floating dopamine in my brain, leading to stronger uh, dopaminergic uh, reactions. Typically, when I drink coffee, if I drink two cups in the day, I'll crash by mid-afternoon. And uh, usually, if I drink uh, coffee more than three days in a row without a couple days to wash out, as I've said, like many coffee drinkers, it loses its, its uh, well, no, can attest to, it loses its potency. And it just becomes like drinking bitter-flavored water at that point. Although, I drink Pete's coffee, which is uh, really good, uh, but expensive. Uh, from a coffee connoisseur standpoint, it's enjoyable to drink, even if you don't get hyped out of your mind. Because it's, it's got a lot, has a lot of uh, character. That's not a product placement, by the way. It's just really good coffee. <laughs> also, I guess you could say I'm also getting uh, whatever nutritional antioxidant benefits uh, may be contained in coffee as well. So that's uh, a, kind of a good reason to keep drinking it aside from the caffeine. But uh, this is way off point now. Uh, another thing, and remember, this is uh, purely anecdotal. So many people may uh, experience similar uh, things, and, and many may not experience uh, anything at all. And that would be that uh, there were times when I felt hungry. Like I could feel it, the physical sensation of hunger, but I just had no inclination to eat. I had n none at all, which is uncommon for me. And, uh, you know, it's a sign or symptom, rather, that I've only experienced since uh, I've been taking Dopa Makuna, because, you know, I love to eat. And uh, I have not seen much online regarding its appetite suppressant properties. So this is that's why I say this is anecdotal. Uh, I just know that when I took these, I would wake up and go hours, like so, almost like intermittent, uh, intermittent fasting type of thing, and not care, like that I had nothing to eat, I had an empty stomach, and when I finally ate, it would be something light, you know, perhaps a protein shake or something like that, and uh, that's what I had the whole day, and then I would go to sleep, pretty much on an empty stomach, and it didn't seem to bother me at all. So uh, this could have potential uh, as an appetite suppressant for some people. Based on that, like I said, I, I do a lot of controls on myself. So, I mean, self-reporting, it's not maybe uh, as scientific as it could possibly be, but it's just interesting, so I figured I would include that in this review. And uh, I, I don't know, I wonder if it's related to uh, the well-being uh, promoting properties of increased dopamine. It's really, I, I, I'd have no way of knowing without, you know, speaking to biologists and chemists and what have you, and there's not much literature on the internet about this. so. Uh, something to think about and uh since i tend to be a kind of a depression eater as well you know if i feel down this i don't know this could be a contributing factor uh you know i'll munch on random stuff which is why i keep my closets filled with healthy snacks so i that's just i find it really interesting and uh maybe you know if it boosts your mood uh, you, you eat less i don't know but uh that's my working theory since i again i couldn't find much online about it <clears throat> and uh, I don't know <laughs> how to say this uh, as for like the last sort of effect. So I'll say it bluntly. Orgasms uh, were stronger, were mu are much stronger 
when I take this. I swear to God. And again, remember, effects may vary, but uh, <laughs> I literally <laughs> I can't mention this enough, you know. And oh, by the way, nobody pays me to make these uh, reviews, so I'm not trying to shill this as some miracle cure-all. But I'm just telling you what I experienced. Like, you know, I experienced some good effects after doing a lot of uh, research, a buttload of research, as I always do on these things, because I tend to be really paranoid. Uh, some people from uh, political videos that I've put out, they may call me a conspiracy theorist. I beg to differ on that, but suffice to say, I take I, there is no aspect, especially if something I'm putting into my body, some kind of body-altering, physiology-altering chemical, there is no aspect that I do not pay an enormous amount of attention to before I try it. And so I settled on now brand Dopa, uh, Dopa Makuna, because of the reviews that I read. And yes, I made a point to screen out spam reviews because Amazon has become... I ordered it on Amazon and that has just become rife with spam reviews, fake reviews. And uh, also, I've had good experiences in the past with now brand uh, products. Unlike some other brands, which I shall not mention, I've wasted a fair amount of my money on dog shit. Let me just say that. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, that is also an effect which seems uh, without formal scientific tools, mind you, again. All of my uh, reviews, for the most part, aside from the research that I do, is reliant upon self-reporting. So, full disclosure, self-reporting is not as accurate as a blood test, okay? But, uh, it, that is a very, that, from my experience, that was a very measurable effect that I felt. And, uh, that makes sense, again, since dopamine is involved with the brain's reward system, and this is what it's all tied to. Motivation, sexual, uh, well, sexual motivation, but... Uh, heightened uh, arousal, as I've said. As these are all, they all fall under the umbrella of uh, dopaminergic effects, what you would feel if you increased your dopamine. So it's not, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility to say that, yes, I believe these could have been real effects or could be real effects. And uh, again, individual physiologies, I always say this, um, they vary. So you got to take all of these things into account. And I definitely also noticed uh, increased creative output. But uh, that could be why it's touted to increase libido. I don't know. And also seminal volume. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's it's also... So besides, yeah, seminal increased seminal volume. But uh, that's that's another thing you'll find... You'll read online regarding sexual effects if you look into Dopa Makuna. I forgot about that. I can't say that I felt <laughs> anything. <laughs> I, I didn't notice anything like that. Uh, but certainly I could see how stronger orgasms could lead to increased seminal volume. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't say that I felt anything or uh, noticed any uh, increased output in that area. So, uh, as of the recording of this video, I'm still intermittently taking it. I'm down to my last pill now. This is the last one. And so that's why I finally decided to make this, because it's been, like, several months now. And um, I have yet to report any Peter North size uh, cum shots. So, uh, how does this affect women? Or does uh, Makuna affect women in the same way it affects men? Actually, I don't know because I didn't see anything in the literature online, again, that suggested any major differing effects between uh, men and women, aside from the seminal volume thing. So uh, as far as arousal and things like that, it appears that it's, um, you, if whether you're male or female, you'll experience similar um, effects in that vein. But, you know, as far as, like, will you squirt if you're a female? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, you can research it yourself. Who knows what's uh, come out in the last three months or so since I uh, made this initial purchase of this uh, bottle of Makuna. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so in conclusion, uh, most of the things it's rumored to do, uh, I found that it did. And uh, which is really rare. I will certainly be repurchasing this product because that's a really rare thing to find from um, these types of things. And there's only a handful of things like, uh, you know, vitamin C and um, creatine and um, choline. And there's like a handful of, of things that say, oh, that it, it uh, improves this, that, or the other thing, whether it be physiological or uh, mental prowess, you know, memory, improve this, that, whatever. There are very few products that actually deliver. And uh, I feel like this one really did. And so uh, I will cycle through it intelligently. 
I would like to get more, and I'll continue cycling through it in a in a manner that I feel uh, get, I, so I can receive the optimum effect from it. Several months on, you know, several months off, something like that, or whatever suits you. Like you have to experiment, you have to find your rhythm, you have to find your niche, because it's important to give your brain a rest once in a while too. So it's good to cycle. Uh, for me, that even includes coffee. Uh, some people drink coffee all day, every day, but yeah, I like to take breaks for the reasons why I've specified already. And uh, I'd rather not burn out my adrenal gl uh, glands, have be in a continual state of adrenal uh, exhaustion if I can help it. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I hope that any of the info in this video that was presented in this video has helped you in it in some way, has helped somebody in some way. Uh, should you decide to experiment with Dopamacuna, I wish you good luck.